Hey guys, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Mr. Kels right here and I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for all the positive comments coming in. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys are the best. And today I want to show you guys something on this industrial machine. Okay, something happened last week and I think I have to talk about it. Okay, as a professional fashion designer, this is what I stand for. The past week spent 8,000 Naira on her industrial machine, the new industrial machine she managed to buy. So she spent 8,000 Naira on it because why the machine is rotating backward, is sewing backward. I know there's this word in Nigeria that goes like, where man they work, na there the shop. So now that's why they call them workshop. But it's just that sometimes in life, some people just they shop too much. And when it comes to my community, I don't agree with that. So the woman actually spent 8,000 Naira because her industrial machine is rotating backward. And this thing, for industrial machine to rotate backward does not mean it's defective, okay? It actually means that the engine of that particular industrial machine is an universal engine, okay? Which means you can use it for industrial weaving machine and you can also use it for this particular sewing machine, okay? This particular sewing machine have to sew frontward in order for the machine to be able to work, okay? But a weaving machine need to rotate backward in order for the weaving machine to be able to weave for you, okay? So please, I, I don't know that this kind of thing are uh, something that some people don't know, but when it happened last week, I was shocked. I couldn't say anything. I just have to walk away from the woman. I didn't tell her anything, okay? But as I'm making this video right now, I hope it gets to her. So right now, I'm going to show you a DIY, what to do when the industrial machine is rotating backward, okay? I set this particular one to backward right now. It's not defective. It's just a universal engine the machine has, which means you can use it for two things. And please, when you finish watching this video, I'd like you to share the video, okay? Because it might actually help your fellow fashion designer there in the community, okay? So that, you know, we stop spending unnecessary money. We're not saying we're not gonna patronize people who repair the machine, but no. The things that we can do for ourselves, we have to help ourselves out. So let's quickly go into it. So I'm going to step on it gently right now. And you can see that this machine is actually rotating backward. Okay. You see, you see that it's going backward. And this is the, some, this is the reason why I make this video. Okay. So... Here we are, this is the engine right now, okay? And if you look at this now, there's a switch here. This thing can happen to you, okay? Because sometimes your customer can come to your shop and they come with your kids. And you know kids, many of them love to play with everything in Taylor's shop. You know, they might actually come down here and temper with your machine. That means the whole setting is going to change, okay? So, and as you can see this thing right now, is on the left-hand side. Okay, you can see there's an arrow here. Okay, this one is pointing to the left and then the right. So now, since the machine is still on, what you need to do is, now that it's on like this, what you need to do is switch it off. Okay, when you switch off the machine, press down here and make sure that the machine, the engine, stop working completely okay it has stopped working completely now then come back here again all right and then you turn the switch to the right hand side okay the switch is on the right hand side now okay if you don't switch off the machine completely the setting will not change but now that you have switched you have really stopped the machine from working the setting has changed back to forward right now now that it's on the right hand side it's going to rotate forward so you can switch on the machine again and then you bring the switch to the center okay you have to leave it there in the center that is where it has to be then we're going to go back right now and test run the machine and see where it's rotating to so here we have set it to forward and i'm going to step on it gently so you can see you see it's coming from right now okay this is the simple thing 
okay and i want you to share this video so that you can use it to help others because that woman spend money because she have not come across something like this and this is the kind of thing that most people ignore eight thousand naira to spend it just because the machine is rotating backward and the person who come to fix this machine know exactly the problem he knows that this is something that he can fix in less than 30 seconds but he take this so much money from this person and you know since this is about fashion and i know about it i disagree with it i'm not saying that he doesn't have to make money out of what he's doing and you know make tons of figures but it's just too much and he's doing it to someone close to me okay although i don't know the person particularly but since she's a fashion designer she's part of me thank you guys for watching the video please i want you to share this video okay i want you to let the video go forward and so that it can reach other fashion designers out there thank you